You keep fumbling girls because you got no game. You keep fumbling girls because you have no mouthpiece. You keep fumbling girls because you have little to nothing to offer. You get what I'm saying? You're not her best option. She don't care about you. Simple. All right, we're good with the YouTube. Back at y'all in the video. Now as you read by the title and thumbnail, we finna talk about why you keep fumbling girls. Number one reason, bro, why you keep fumbling girls, bro, it's not your conversation, skills, or lack thereof. It ain't nothing that, bro. It's really the fact that you ain't got nothing going for yourself. You won't have nothing going for yourself, bro. I'ma keep it a stack, bro. It'll never be easier to get women and to attract girls on a consistent and effortless basis than if you own your stuff, bro. But if you want girls to look at you and realize that I cannot get rid of this dude. No matter what he do, I'ma always be there for him. It's just something about him, I'm never gonna be able to leave him alone. If you want girls to think of you like that, bro, you gotta get stuff going for yourself. It's as simple as that. We live in a day and age where if you don't have no motion, you're gonna be in the shadows, you're gonna get overlooked 10 times out of 10. You gotta prioritize yourself before you prioritize being able to attract girls, how to talk to them, your game. None of that stuff matter if you don't have a job. None of that stuff matter if you don't, if you're not trying to get better. You get what I'm saying? You have to get that in your head. I need to make some money today. I need to make some money today. I need to work out today. I have to work out today. I have to make some money today. I have to learn something new today. I gotta get on my fucking grind. Cause until you do that, you can kiss all these hoes that you want goodbye. Simple. But let's just say you are on your grind, right? You got a job, you got consistent money coming in. You in the process of getting your own crib or something like that. You might have your own car. You just own your stuff. You making the right steps, right? Let's say that you in that position. You feel me? Okay, but you still struggling with the females. You still fumbling girls, etc. Now it's like, okay, why am I fumbling girls still? Quay, I'm on my ground. I'm still fumbling these hoes. What am I doing wrong? Now it comes down to the point where, bro, you ain't got no damn game. You get what I'm saying? You can't just sit up and talk to a girl all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing every day, this, that, this, that. She got other options, but you only want to do the same thing, just sit up on the phone, talk all day. Bro, that's boring. That's boring. You get what I'm saying? When you talking to a girl, bro, you got to lead the dynamic. You got to show abundance. You got to show that you know what you're doing in these situations. So what does that look like? What does that mean? It literally means that you want to escalate the situation as fast as you possibly can. You want to get some cheeks. It's as simple as that. You want to add her to your rotation. You might want this to be your girlfriend, whatever the case may be. But in order for any of that to be possible, she has to stay interested in you. This is why I tell y'all boys that you have to pull back. Stop telling these girls everything about yourself. You feel me? Stop telling her about your ex, your bad breakup, all this different stuff about you. You just met this girl two weeks ago. A lot of dudes, bro, it's like they feel like once they find a girl that's real, real attractive and they check all their boxes, they feel like they found the one. That is a, that's, that's the farthest thing from the truth, bro. You got to realize there is no such thing as the one. It's just a girl that work good for you or it's just women that work good for you. But you going to continuously fumble these females until you get your game right. Why you out here in the field? Why you out here on your grind, making your money, going to work, going to the gym, on you know what I'm saying, working on your side hustles and stuff like that, bro. For one, I always tell y'all boys the importance of your social media game and things of that nature. Watch some of my previous videos if you need help building up your social media. DM me, drop it down in the comments down below if you still need some help. But social media is important. That's one aspect that's going to easily help you attract women because you have access to every woman on the planet because all these women got social media. So if your social media popping, that's a direct avenue for you to be able to bad girl. You understand what I'm saying? But bro, it's like this, bro. When you texting a girl, bro, text game is easy. So like these are some things that's going to make a girl not want to text you back. Blowing her phone up all the time. Always being available. Like that stuff cool in the beginning, but it's going to get old real quick. You know what I'm saying? But really more so is like the lack of substance of y'all conversations. A lot of y'all can't hold <laughs> a lot of y'all can't hold conversations with girls, bro. You don't know what to talk about. You wanna text all day, you don't wanna get on FaceTime because you don't wanna just sit on the phone in silence, but you know that's how it's gonna go, because you don't know what to say. But it's it's the same thing when you texting a girl though. As long as you ask her what you're doing, you don't know what else to say. So that's one thing, bro. Like I said, go watch the last video, bro, where you can learn all about the conversation game. But the next thing is like, bro, there is no spontaneity. There is nothing like, there is no mystery about these dynamics that you're dealing with with these women, bro. There is no mystery. There is no chase. She doesn't have to chase you because you kind of putting all your eggs in one basket. Super quick. You feel me? Why do dudes be putting their eggs in one basket with girls so quick? Maybe because they got some cheeks and they thought it was good. Maybe because she's so beautiful. Maybe because she finessed you with her words. Maybe it's a combination of all three. But at the end of the day, bro, you want to have your life in order and you want to have an exciting life. That's really what it is, bro. When you have an exciting life that a girl can come into, 
and that she find valuable, that she find exciting, and she she gonna wanna stay. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell y'all boys the importance of creating a vibe with a girl. So it's like when you chopping it up with a girl, having a conversation with her, the overall vibe of this conversation, the overall substance of this conversation, bro, she should feel good about this conversation. She should be enjoying this conversation. She should be intrigued and interested. Same thing when you take a girl on a date. She should have fun on this date. You should be trying to pick her brain a little bit. So you should have learned enough about a girl to the point where when y'all do go on a date, you can take her somewhere that's kind of meaningful. You can take her somewhere that she ain't never been before. You understand what I'm saying? But a lot of y'all be boring. You only want to take a girl out to eat into the movies. Two places where you really can't even get to know her. You can't have no conversation because you should have food in your mouth. While you going out to eat, you can't talk in the movies. So you have to expand your horizon as well, bro. You're not the first dude that took her out to eat. You're not the first dude that took her to the movies. Expand your horizon a little bit if you want to keep these girls interested on a date level. You understand what I'm saying? That's if y'all making it to that point, bro. You know? Because you can't, that's another thing. You can't just text girls all day. You can't just sit on the phone with them all day. No. 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 Y'all got to be linked up. Like a girl is not going to continuously get interested in you more and more or stay interested in you. All y'all do is text. That shit boring, bro. Like y'all have to be linked up doing something. I'm not even talking about on a sexual level, but y'all got to be spending time together so y'all can feel the vibe, feel each other out. Actually enjoy spending time with each other so y'all can keep things going. You understand what I'm saying, bro? But it's kind of also that push and pull effect as well. You can't be so available. I know she fine. I know her ass big. I know the coochie was good. I know you want to talk to her as much as you possibly can. But that shit is needy. That shit is a turn off the girls. Make her chase you a little bit by being a little unpredictable, being a less available. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not telling you these type of things so you can be an asshole, bro. If you at work, you shouldn't have all the time in the world to just sit up, talk to her, or text her. You feel me? And that's another thing. If you go into the gym, basically, if you're productive throughout your day, how you should be on your grind and stuff, you're not going to always have time to just talk to girls. So this is why I tell y'all, boy, talk to them in your free time. This is also why I tell y'all, boy, set up links and set up dates so you don't have to rely on this little petty ass conversation. Because there's nothing better and there's nothing, it's no better way to build a connection than when y'all are face to face, y'all interacting, y'all doing something. That's another way, bro, to keep her interested. If y'all going on a date, do something interactive. Bowling, go-karts, arcade, this type of shit. You get what I'm saying? Lack of confidence also another reason why you fumbling girls, bro. Because back when I was in college, that's when I fumbled hella females. And it was because I lacked confidence. I didn't have no game. This is when I kind of first started watching self-improvement content and stuff like that. So I kind of knew what was going on. I was kind of tapped into the space, but I didn't have any real life experience. You get what I'm saying? So I was still nervous. I still didn't know what to do. I was still kind of like in my head a little bit with these girls when it came down to actually be doing what I was supposed to be doing. You got to get experience, bro. You got to be able to take risks. You got to be able to step out your comfort zone and do stuff. You understand what I'm saying? A girl is always going to have other options, bro. You get what I'm saying? I don't care who she is. Every girl on the planet going to have other options. So if you're talking to a girl, you got to ask yourself, what is making me stand out from anybody else that she got access to? What's going to make her want to talk to me again? What's going to make her want to see me again? You get what I'm saying? What's going to make her want to bounce on me again? Literally, bro. Because these are the type of things that's going to keep a girl interested in you. How you talk to her, how you seduce her. You get what I'm saying? The type, the things that y'all do together, what you can teach her, picking her brain. You feel me? All that stuff, bro, is going to help her come back. You fumble when it's like she thought you was something, but you wasn't that. You get what I'm saying? When you, like, like you got the motion and shit like that, but you a fucking simp. That's how you fumble. When, you in a, when she find you attractive, but you scary and shit, that's how you fumble. You know what I'm saying? When you look the part, but your mouthpiece or your energy just don't add up. That shit is fucking terrible. So that's why I tell y'all boys, just going to the gym ain't enough. It's a lot of dudes that's buffered in me, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of dudes that got more money than me. But that doesn't mean a lot of dudes, that doesn't mean that they're going to be as charismatic as me. That don't mean that they mouthpiece better than me. That don't mean that they got more confidence than me. You, know, you get what I'm saying? So same thing with you, bro. It might be somebody out here that got more money than you, that's buffered than you, whatever the fuck. None of that matters. If you, when, As long as you look in the mirror and you see yourself as that nigga, you can go out here and you can get any hoe that you want. But fumbling a girl, bro, who give a fuck? We all gonna fumble girls, but at the end of the day, it's like this. If you keep a foundation of being on your grind, you know what I'm saying, getting experience with other girls, etc., just holding yourself to a certain standard, you gonna keep girls in rotation. But it's also like this, bro. A lot of y'all be trying to 
force girls to like you. That's why you be fumbling these hoes because they don't like you to begin with. So they, they just putting up with you. You know what I'm saying? They just putting up with you. So that's, that's the most important thing, bro. Stop putting up with girls. Stop trying to force her to like you and apply pressure and start doing more so she can like you and shit. No. When you start messing with a girl, bro, dealing with a girl, it should be 130% obvious that she fuck with you for who you is. Anything else than that, bro, you're going to have to do too much to get her to like you. You know what I'm saying? So that's the most important thing, bro, is just deal with women who obviously like you. Because when you're dealing with a girl that obviously like you, it's so much easier to pique her interest by running your game the natural way, being your fucking self. When you can do it like that, bro, this shit get automatic. You gotta be that nigga, basically. So you gotta have your stuff in order, own car, own crib, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Money coming in, charisma, social media profile. And bro, all that shit matter first things first. But then it's like when you get to interacting with these girls, taste game, that shit easy. I always escalate the conversation to y'all linking up and doing some, spending some type of time together. Don't always be available. Don't always pick up the phone. Don't always put all your eggs in one basket. Deal with multiple females if you a single man and shit like that. But this is just the basics, bro. If you can do the simple things for yourself while you getting experience, you gonna be all right. If you stop that simp shit and prioritize getting this money and learning the game, learning what females actually like, you gonna be all right, bro. You still gonna fumble something. You still gonna get rejected, but that's just part of it. Cause as long as she, as long as these hoes look at you and see that nigga or see a nigga that could potentially be her nigga, you get what I'm saying? As long as a hoe look at you and that's what she get to thinking, as long as she look at you, she smiling, she like what you see, etc. And you not no fucking robot, you will be all right. So fumbling girls, bro, it's gonna really be a thing of the past. The more you improve, the more you get experience, the more you understand how this shit go, bro. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, that's all I got for y'all boys, man. If I missed anything, make sure y'all drop it in the comments down below. If you learned something new, make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe. I'm gone.